they want a movement which is sort of god centered which is sort of religious centered which is those who are going to be able to constitution yeah yeah triple c that constitution yeah buddha yeah can say it was authored by nelson chamisa you would see kuti yeah in your new end up at the leader in the shinyanyo taura language yeah could church Precious people and wonderful people of the nation of Zimbabwe, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Ocean Amandish, your prophetic intercessor, your messenger of hope. I'm here to just give you a background on the uh, re reason why I'm sharing this message. You see, uh, I'm one of those who always advocate that we need to see God in the way we do our things, even on the political levels. But there are people who advocate and say, there's nothing about God that we should include in the issues of politics. But let us understand that the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 15, that I we are the salt of the earth and also the light of the world. We are there to bring light where darkness is. So it's very important for us to understand that if Christian community just live and say, let things be done by those uh, who can do we don't need to to be involved in such things uh, we are not taking our rightful positions as people who were given this mandate by god to be here and to be part and parcel of what god wants to do on this earth so i want us also to take note that the same god if we read our bible even from genesis uh, right through to the old testament if especially we read the book of first chronicles uh, first chronicles first kings second kings samuel and other prophets you find out that it was god himself who was directing the politics of that day so in for us to say that god is not involved to for us to say god should not be involved in the politics of the of today we, we are not doing justice to the scripture because he was the one who sometimes would be angry with those who were doing evil. He would say, anoint this one. He would say, don't anoint this one. He would direct his prophets and he would raise certain um, leaders and kings. And he was the one who, who was uh, directing and detecting how the uh, political field of that time, although it is different in our context, but that was God. So this is something that I want us to take note. So there's this journalist that I always uh, find, uh, find he always attacks um, the issue of the involvement of, uh, of God in the issues of politics. So there are things, there are questions about eight questions that you are going to come across, which I forwarded deliberately. Uh, let me just run down this, uh, these, these questions so that we will move together in the presentation that I'm going to, to do, that you are going to uh, here um on his first as uh, on one of his video that i cropped there uh, he jokingly or uh, reluctantly saying let's pray he was introducing the issue of saying let's pray to kanamata makumbra nowhere in africa because as a person who always attacked the issue of god i find it um, um funny to see him saying so because why should this is a question why should we pray for a blessing on a political um, controlled continent or nation, uh, so to speak, in court? Because the moment we say we need to pray, the blessings will come. Uh, if you say the God should not be involved, so what type of prayer that will be uh, doing? That was my question, uh, my, 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 my second question. The third question that put across to say, you must tell us how a person's faith affects his political uh, his, his politics negatively number four what is wrong with god's centered movement what is wrong with god's centered movement to involve god number five what is wrong in having a leader who follows god what's wrong about that what's wrong about a leader uh, who follows god if i want to put it that way number six where should people pay their allegiance number seven What's wrong? What's wrong in including God in a constitution? What's wrong in involving God or in uh, mentioning God in the things that we do as a constitution? Number eight, who said God should not be involved in the in the governance issues in the issue of governance 
So these are the questions that I posed. So let us take a listen. Tika namata mwari uyu anodzika makomborero hobo mu Africa medu umo makomborero hobo. Happy Sabbath to all my SDA friends. Happy Sabbath. Contrary to what a lot of people think would be, I've got an issue against my SDA. I don't have an issue against my SDA. What I just don't want is for Chamisa to mix <laughs> politics. Politics. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? <laughs> So they want a movement which is sort of God-centered, which is sort of religious-centered, which is those who are going to be able to constitution here at Triple C, that constitution here at Buda, you can see it was authored by Nelson Chamisa. You would see that he is not by the leader in the Shinyanyo Taura language here at church, and you would wonder how a lawyer would write something like that. Remember, no son Chamisa Bagam would put a document there at Abuda, Pachita on Emma election, the Machi, and Rufana Gunge, from a nomination, Chi 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 Chi. And if you look at that document, right out and away, loyalty to the Creator, loyalty to the Maker, loyalty to God, which document, which is political, speaks of issues that are religious, issues of faith, issues of Uchinamato. Yet we are looking at issues of governance. That is that exclusionary exclusionary framework where they want SDA. So Nelson Chamisa has been rightly captured by SDA deep state members. SDA deep state members. And they want to use him to achieve what I would describe as an SDA goal. According to conspiracy theories, tell me what you think about this in the comment section if I am making sense or not. You know what we were going to do with the president of Zambia, I'm Savada. I got in the joint, I'm Savada. Pamenigatonga <laughs> 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 Right, let me borrow from Gambangwe. The last uh, clip that you watched um, is a post of Talent Chuenga when he was commenting, as usual, like mocking, ridiculing um, on uh, Advocate Nelson Ch Chamisa uh, on the move that he did, supposedly the move. Uh, I'm not sure about that, that he moved from AFM to Seventh Day. And uh, the reason why I left that clip on the end of that video is because it was part of the same video that was addressed by Zigo. So I put it because um, I have a challenge in understanding why Christians, supposedly Christians, um, don't seem to uh, be advocating to see more people who want to be in the politics especially christians because i believe that if we have more uh, christians who try to bring the light in our politics that is characterized by evil characterized by violence and so forth and corruption um we 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 see people trying like uh, criticizing ridicule um to certain exchange uh, being controversial not to understand where people like Apostle Chuenga really stand on. So I know everyone has got his own opinion, his own uh, political opinion, which is allowed. But when it comes to uh, us as light and salt, I think despite uh, the mistakes that uh, these politicians do, at least uh, if we see those who want to be in the politics, especially Christians, doing the right thing, we need to pray and also rally behind that because the world is very evil and we need the light and things to be done correctly so i just thought i have to uh, post this uh, as part of the video that i also uh, saw um which i was uh, which i also cropped from a uh, zigo so this is the message this is what i thought i have to share with you uh, god bless you as usual i end emphasizing encouraging intercessors 
to pray for our nation. Shalom.